Fish good boy. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> I do make posts on Instagram, so if you guys want to see like more pictures and stuff that I do on a daily basis more often, um, you can check out my Instagram. Um, it's at the R T H I K one. Same as the uh, YouTube name. All right, guys. See ya. Hey, what's up, my fellow reptile freaks? Hey, I just want to do a quick video on some of these rabbits that I've raised and what I've learned <clears throat> with keeping them. In a, in a large area, a bunch of them confined in one area. Um, females will dig the china. So when you build your pens, you need to have some type of underlayment that they can't dig through. If I was to redo this again, I would do some type of like a chain link fence underneath where they can't dig through. Um, if you want to allow them to dig, you have to do some type of a, a rod, like an anchor rod along all the walls. Um, that extends down under, you know, underneath the actual wall where they can dig. Um, when you have a bunch in an area like this, um, they, they'll, uh, you got to treat them constantly for parasites. And the last batch that I had, uh, <clears throat> I had a lot of rabbits. They started to get diarrhea. They got real skinny, um, dehydrated and I did a fecal sample and it was, I believe it was called coxiliosis. Um, this is just off the top of my head. So um, anyway, so what I had to, I had to treat the rabbits and most of them pulled back through and did all right. So you have to keep these things right now. I'm treating them every day with, it's a water soluble powder I get from Tractor Supply. Uh, it's called Amproleum. So right, right now I'm mixing about about one ounce to seven gallons of water. And I put two water dishes in here. Each water dish is about two and a half gallons. Um, I keep them on a steady amount of that. Um, also, males will fight. Um, some of these, even in the, most of these, pretty much all of them are females. Or all of them should be females. If you see some of the ears that are laced out, it's from them fighting. Males are even worse. I do have a couple rabbits that are out loose that have been loose for a while that stay in my fenced area, but their ears are just all mangled and shredded. Um, males are males will fight, but they don't dig. Males don't dig near as much. Uh, so anyway, yeah, um, that's the that's one of the issues you'll come across if you want to raise them in a setting like this. Um, otherwise, raised wire cages seem to be the way to go where you can keep them all isolated and the fighting is, isn't as bad. Um, so anyway, guys, till next time, we'll see you later. Bye now. All right, guys, quick side note. Um, <clears throat> while I'm on the subject, I'm in my pen that I keep the male rabbits in, and uh, I'm going to show you some close-ups of, like, what happens when you keep rabbits in a kind of an open area? Um, really, to, to raise as many rabbits, and uh, to, in order to keep them not in like confined spaces like wire cages, you know, I get a lot of people that will jump in on these videos, and they they're uh, they're upset because I keep the rabbits in wire cages, but it would take an absolute massive area to raise this many rabbits and not keep them in wire cages you know like the, this amount of rabbits you're probably talking a quarter of an acre where they have plenty of space to move about and roam and even at that you would have a hard time um, keeping track of everything and keeping them fenced in because they like i said um like i mentioned in this video they dig so much they will dig under and out of everything like this pen here also i've, I've reinforced or put rebar and just various stuff I pick up out of the trash bin at, at work. Um, I go around all the edges and uh, make like a, it's kind of like a prison in, in a sense, but it would take an absolute massive area. So this is, this is what happens when you keep them, you know, when you turn them loose and keep them in an area like this. So yeah, flip the camera around and I'll show you a couple close-ups of their ears. Hopefully they'll be still enough. These are all the males. 
There might be a couple females in here, but if they won't be still. Okay, you see how his ears shredded? This is what happens when you keep them like in a, a, a several, a bunch of them in an enclosed area where they're all together. When you get a bunch of them together, they fight, and this is what happens. You know, now if I kept them in wire cages, fewer in wire cages, you wouldn't. This this problem wouldn't be near as bad. Like when they get to fighting also, they'll, it's kind of gnarly, they'll grab, they'll, when they're fighting, they'll lock, they'll lock on to each other's testicles also. I've had one I fed off to a rabbit in one of the previous videos where he was completely, uh, what do you call it, his guts were hanging, it wasn't his guts, but it was his balls hanging out from them attacking each other. He was pro, it was prolapsed, which is, you know. This is what happens when you keep them in a enclosed area like this. A lot of them are in tunnels right now that the females have dug because I previously kept females in this pen. But this is what you have to deal with. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye now. Here's another side note. So. <clears throat> If anybody wants to raise me some rabbits, that's fine. But, you know, I'm talking, I, w I could use, say, 10, 10 rabbits that are 12 pounds, 16 pounds at best, you know, every month. And it takes a very long time to raise a rabbit to that size, you know. So it's like when it comes to raising these things, some of these people act like, you know, they make it's easier said than done. And it's, uh, you know, it's not as easy and it t it's pretty time consuming as far as the length of time it takes to get a rabbit to that size you know so but anyway here's one of my uh one of my males one of my bucks super friendly loves attention hey buddy these guys get all excited when i'm uh back here feeding because they know they know what their job is <laughs> they know what their job is he likes to bury his head in my bury his head in my hand he's a good boy he's a good boy hey buddy hey mister hmm huh? Alright guys, we'll see you next time. Bye now.